Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests. Welcome to our exciting lineup announcement for the 2024 Oakville Film Festival. And even better, now we're on the microphones. <laughs> Give it up for Dennis, everybody. Um, we are so excited to be here telling you all about the exciting events that are coming to OFA 2024, the 11th annual Oakville Film Festival. My name is Tyler Collins. I'm returning this year as one of the co-hosts of the festival, but of course, I am not alone. Hi, I'm Cynthia Crowfoot. I'm also a co-host of the festival. Really excited to be here for the 11th annual film festival. I am junior to Tyler, so he's my senior guy. I look to him for guidance. Um, we're going to start today uh, with land acknowledgement. We're going to have some speakers come up and we're going to have speakers from the films come up just to give a, a quick little introduction about their films. It's going to be very exciting. So for now, we would like to acknowledge that for thousands of years, this has been and still is the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, Anishinaabe Nation, Huron-Wendat, and the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. Oakville Festivals of Film and Art sit on these lands and it is our collective responsibility to honor and respect those who have gone before us, those who are here, and those who have yet to come. We are grateful for the opportunity to be working on this land. To get us started uh, this afternoon, we're going to hear from a very special woman. She is the one who makes all of this possible, and she is our intrepid leader who keeps the ship going. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our executive director for the Oakville Festivals of Film and Art, Wendy Donnan. Thank you. Um, keeping that ship from going down, it's a lot of work. All right, so welcome everybody. We're really, really pleased to have you all here for our launch event. You get to sneak preview all the films that are in the festival. Now, not all the short films, but all the features and documentaries. And you get to meet a lot of the filmmakers who are here uh, to, to mix with you, to talk to you, and to, um, uh, to tell you all about their films. Um, so we have this year one of our biggest festivals ever, 104. Uh, features and documentaries, short films, and web series. Uh, we have 20 features and documentaries. We have over 84 short films of various lengths, uh, from web series, documentary shorts, dramatic shorts, uh, experimental animation, uh, lots of award-winning Canadian premieres from the animation students at Sheridan College as well. So we're really excited about all of this. Uh, we have 15 uh, features from across Canada, um, so all across Canada, so BC, Ontario, Quebec, all the way out to the East Coast, uh, Halifax as well. Um, and around the world as well, we have many countries represented, the US, UK, Italy, France, uh, Kenya, Spain, Austria, Cambodia, um, China, Greece, Iran, it's, the list is going on and on, Ireland, Italy, Spain, um, and uh, the United Arab Emirates. So we've actually had some countries submit this year that we've never had films from before. So that's really exciting. Uh, your genres for this year, as always, there's something for everybody. Uh, there's, there's comedy, there's drama, romance, um, documentary, sci-fi, and horror, and uh, also a, family, a couple of family-friendly movies. So. Uh, very excited to have you all here. Enjoy, and I'm going to turn the microphone back to the experts. Thank you. Uh, now, while Wendy, of course, works terribly hard to make all this possible, she's not the only one. There's also the board of directors for the Oakville Festivals of Film and Art. Uh, many of them are here in the room. Some of them could not be here today, but we just want to thank them for their contributions to make the event possible. That includes our shorts programmer, Tori Nixon, uh, Christine Leonard, who works on events, Sarah Furlong, in charge of grants, uh, Eric Vidal for web and transmedia, Mark Horowitz, who runs the Industry Summit, that is also part of the festival and a great part that you should all contribute to, uh, Benoit Mercier, who does marketing, Shane Cullis for memberships and sponsorships, uh, Sean Salvo, also on sponsorships, our new treasurer, Miriam Lee, and Deborah Barlow, who is a board member and our outgoing treasurer. Uh, please give them a round of applause for all the work that they are contributing to make the festival possible. 
Uh, this year, we also have to thank Film.ca Cinemas, who are our new official event partner. Without them, it's not possible, and 90% of the screenings that happen with the festival every year happen here at Film.ca Cinemas. Uh, there's always the eternal debate. Are you a fan of fin Cinema 4 or Cinema 5? Uh, they are accepting sponsorships for their ultimate Duke Out brawl in the parking lot that's going to happen after the closing show on Sunday night. Uh, but we want to thank the CEO, Jeff Knoll, uh, who is the CEO here of Film.ca Cinemas, and their entire team that worked so hard to make the event possible. Jeff, Bryn, Jason, Tori, and the entire house staff here uh, who worked their butts off to make this so we can screen over 100 titles in the span of about 48 hours. Yeah, no small feat. As well, we want to thank the slew of other sponsors that helped to make this event possible. EY, Jay Hutchison and Michaela Hutchison, Sheridan Alumni, Sheridan College's, sorry, Sheridan College thanks the incredible ongoing support of Christine, Alicia, and Leslie. Staples, who is a new sponsor for 2024 and will be part of our outdoor launch event along with CHCH. Chat Capstick McCollum, thank you Tracy and Amanda. Deb Wewin, Oakville, the Oakville Truth Project, represented by Georgia Laform, the Town of Oakville, the Film Division, Kyle Coffey, Expedia Oakville South, Expedia Oakville North, and Celebrity Cruises. We had a great prize last year from them. Cruise all the way to Greece. Uh, Kaju Multimedia, Eric is here and also on board. Um, Trill House Studios, thanks to Justin and Kristen. Thrill House Studios, my apologies. And from Kojiko and Your TV, Stu and Jeff. Nancy from Ace Coworking. I'm trying to make this more exciting, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Oakville United Taxi is our transportation sponsor. Oakville Blue Printing, thanks Jen for the amazing support and for printing everything every year. Forest of Flowers, Claudia, thank you. Visit Oakville and Bum Commercial Furniture. Thanks to our media partners, Village Media, Oakville News, Sue Bartholomew, and Best Magazine. What a, what a bunch of great supporters. We're now going to play a trivia game where anybody who memorized that whole list and can recall it back to us gets a free pass to the festival this year. Any players? That's okay. We didn't think so. Uh, but without all their sponsorships and direct support, it's not possible to screen all the movies and make the event happen. Uh, the, the festival this year is going to be taking place from Wednesday, June 19th, all the way uh, to Tuesday, June the 25th. I had it in my head, is it 25 or 26? And we have a cheat sheet here, so th thank you to the cards outside. Uh, but for all the events, one of those new things that's going to be happening, like we said, there is a sponsorship from Staples for a free outdoor screening. We're going to open this year with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which is going to be shown in Town Square for everyone. Uh, we'll hope you join us before we get to the formal events, like the galas at the Oakville Center for the Performing Arts, and then all of the film screenings that take place here at Film.ca Cinemas right here in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, if you would like to become a sponsor of this fine event, we are still taking sponsorship uh, packages, opportunities, collaborations, and we would love for you and your business, or you as you the person, to be involved with the festival. Charmaine Hammond is here in the audience today. I know she's here. There she was. She was hiding. If you would like to speak to Charmaine bef uh, after the event this afternoon, we would love to get in touch so you can be part of all the excitement happening June 19th to 25th. Now, I'm sure you're all sick of uh, hearing us talk about sponsors. Would you like to hear about the movies that we're showing? That's the fun part. We want to hear about the movies. <laughs> so we have a couple of the uh, filmmakers and the talent from the films. We have actors, writers, directors, producers, uh, designers, all sorts of people here to talk about some of the features that are going to be coming to the festival this year. First off, uh, we have the Thursday night EY Gala. That's going to be Thursday, June 20th at the Oakville Center for the Performing Arts, where we will be showing the wonderful new Canadian film, Kip Kembois. Uh, here to speak about it, we have the lead actor from the film. You know him from Star Trek Discovery, Achilles Escape, and Rookie Blue. Uh, Tamela Mpulawana is here to speak about Kip Kimboa. Please welcome to the stage, Tamela. Oh, also coming to the stage is production designer Joel Richardson, here to speak about the film. 
Hi there, everyone. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I'm the guy from the film we're going to watch. Um, <clears throat> but uh, basically, um, we spent uh, quite a while putting this film together. We, we first and formally want to thank uh, Telefilm and uh, Ontario Films as well, Atera Creates, um, for you know, helping us achieve this opportunity. Um, and you know it's been you know an amazing and, and humbling experience, uh, and a, that, that of a passionate one as well. Um, we had some great people on our team, from our director Charles to our producer Leonard, and they worked tirelessly um, on this project to make it what it what it is. And uh, that was no small feat on their part. And uh, you know they you know, luckily invited me, and uh, I get to speak in front of all you nervously today, uh, which is a nice thing. Um, and I mean, it's uh, like we spent about like a month, a month and a half in, in Kenya, meticulously trying to set this up so that it worked just right. And, um, you know, I, we all came up with something that we were satisfied with. And um, it's a pleasure getting to screen it here in, in front of this, you know, pleasant, lovely Oakville audience that we got, and um, you know, we're just we're just happy to be here, and uh, we're just looking forward to you guys getting to enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. And we just wanted to add thanks to CBC Films and the um, uh, Village of Matipso in Kenya. We're thrilled to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait to see that. I'm actually going to be in the audience for that one. Um, and if you come out to the films during the festival, there are more people representative of the films that will be there for part of the Q&A that follow the films. So I have the great pleasure of introducing the film The Great Salish Heist. And this is the gala event on Friday, the 20th, at the Oakville Center of the Performing Arts. And with us today is Craig Lauzon. Sorry, Lauzon. <laughs> I knew that was going to stick in my head. Um, and he is the actor who plays Andrew in the movie. He is a local actor. He plays Andrew in the film. And he's well known to television audiences as a comedic actor on the Royal Canadian Air Force. Also, the CBC series Trickster as well as a favorite of Toronto, Murdoch Mysteries. Here, tell us a little bit about the film. Thank you so much. Hi, Anim Bojo, Miskwaginunini Indigenekas, Makwadodem. My name is Craig Lozon. And um, yeah, Great Salish Heist. We shot it in Victoria and Cowichan Bay area and Saanich a little bit. The filmmakers uh, are Orca Media, uh, Orca Cove Media, sorry, Harold Joe and uh, Leslie Bland. And Harold Joe, in his life life, is a cultural and, uh, archaeologist, and he works in trying to reclaim uh, properties for the Salish people and the people of, uh, the indigenous people of BC. And <clears throat> so uh, in his frustrations, he and his uh, writing, or ideas partner, Sophie Underwood, uh, came up with the idea of this uh, first ever indigenous heist movie. But instead of robbing from a bank or from some big corporation, they're stealing from a museum to get artifacts back to the people. And so we thought that was pretty uh, special. And um, it's got Graham Greene in it, it's got Trisha Helfer in it, Ashley Collingbull, uh, Daryl Dennis, who actually wrote the, f the script, uh, with the ideas from, from Harold. Uh, he wrote the script, he directed the script, and he stars in the script, so he's a narcissist. Uh, <laughs> and he's one of my best friends, and um, uh, he wishes he could be here. He's, uh, he will be here uh, on, for, the, for the viewing of the, script, of the, of the film. Um, I'm not sure who else will be here, but uh, I know for a fact he'll be here. And uh, some of the other actors, most of them are out in BC, uh, and Daryl's down in, in uh, LA. And we had so much fun shooting this. It's beautiful, like the area is beautiful, so it's some beautiful shots, but it's funny and it's heisty 
and, uh, and, but it's also pretty poignant because it makes a social statement uh, and, a, and a, a great message from our people to other people who may not know that museums hold on to so many things that don't belong to them and should be coming back to the people. And so he, Daryl plays um, Steve Joe, <laughs> Harold Joe's uh, fictional character. And um, he's having trouble sleeping, he can't, and he's being visited by ancestors, and so they're sort of telling him, you need to bring these things back to us. So he gets his ragtag group of ne'er-do-wells uh, together to uh, break into the museum and, and bring the stuff back. And so you've got the computer genius, who's just a guy in the res with a computer, um, the muscle and the, uh, and the uh, master of disguise, Obviously, the muscle as well, and um, and Andrea Menard is in it as well. She's fantastic, and it's it's a lot of fun. And hope you'll all be there. And we're looking forward to screening it. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds amazing. I can't wait to see it. I love. I'm a fan of that type of film. Okay, so the next person that I am going to invite up is Gitta Christensen. She is one of the Canadian producers for Cats: The Good, The Bad, and The Cuddly. And originally, I was kind of hesitant to watch this because I'm a cat lover, but I've been assured that it's very funny, and I will love it. So Geta is one of the Canadian producers on this show. She's a veterinarian with a clinic in Mississauga, Ontario called the Park Animal Hospital. She loves cats and is an avid animal activist as well as the Ontario director for Paw Project. I see she's got a t-shirt on which represents that, which is working towards ending declawing of cats throughout North America. I'm all for it. Here you go. Tell us a little bit about your film. Um, yeah, first of all, I'm much more comfortable in an exam room or a surgery suite, so forgive me, I definitely, it's a hard act to follow there, but, um, um, yeah, American Cats, The Good, The Bad, and The Cuddly is a film that I definitely don't want you to miss if you love cats. It's a light-hearted take on a rather dark topic that a lot of people are still surprised to hear that declawing actually still is legal in Canada. Uh, the only place in Canada is Ontario, so we're hoping this can change that. Um, and many, many parts of the state. So um, Amy Hogart is gonna take you through a journey of what's going on behind the scenes, why can't we get decline to end in uh, North America. Um, and fortunately, she's really funny and there's a lot of cute cats and uh, I think everybody will really enjoy this film. So if anybody knows of it who still declaws, please send them my way and I'll convince them why they don't wanna do that anymore. That is something near and dear to my heart. Uh, if you'd like to see Cats, the Good, the Bad, and the Cuddly, that is going to be screening on Saturday, June 22nd, right here at film.ca cinemas. Uh, the last film for which we have some guests in the audience today, on Sunday, June 23rd, we're going to be screening in the evening a new comedy film, The Martini Shot. We have here, uh, as surprise guest, we have Stephen Wallace, who is the director and writer of the film joining us, as well as Susan Elod, who is a producer, here to tell us all about the project. Please welcome to the stage Stephen and Susan. Again, uh, my name is Susan Eilat, and this is Stephen Wallace. I'm a producer. He's the writer, director, producer. And uh, Stephen wrote the martini shot with uh, something very personal, and I'll let him explain that. Yeah, um, it, the, the film's about a, a film director who uh, believes he's going to die, and which is something that actually sort of happened to me at the time when I wrote it. Um, so um, it, we follow his journey. He may or may not be God. It, we have a pretty good cast in it. We have Matthew Modine, John Cleese, um, Stuart Townsend, uh, Sir Derek Jacobi. It's a, it's a really, really interesting uh, film. It's very funny. It's very poignant. Um, it's definitely not a film that you've ever uh, seen before. And we've been doing the festival circuit for the last little while, and this will be our our kind of end point for the, for the film before it comes out. So uh, hopefully um, you guys all come and take a peek. Thank you. 
Now, that, those aren't the only movies uh, that we have coming up here. Uh, next, we're going to show you a reel with the other titles that are going to be coming to the festival here up on the big screen where movies belong. <laughs> yeah, we have a, a really great reel. It's about 28 minutes, and it will give you a very good idea of the films that will be playing at the Oakville Film Festival. Figure out which ones you want to come see. Grab a program. They're outside on the table, and uh, enjoy the reel.